Hello, welcome back to a new video. So today we're going to be comparing the ROG Ally to the Steam Deck and explaining why the ROG Ally completely destroys the Steam Deck in almost every single way. So I don't actually have my Steam Deck anymore. I had one last year and I used it for a while. You can check out my older videos to see me using the Steam Deck. But for today, I'll just have my hands on the ROG Ally. So the design of the Steam Deck and the ROG Ally are kind of similar, but also very different. I think the ROG Ally looks way better with this nice white and black design, kind of like a Stormtrooper colors. And I really like how the thumbsticks are diagonal in the placement. So it's really comfortable to move characters around in games when they're diagonally placed like this. Unlike the Steam Deck, which have the thumbsticks exactly horizontal in a straight line like that. I'm not really a big fan of that. And then you've got the back paddles. So the ROG Ally only has two back paddles, one, two, whereas the Steam Deck has four, which you might think, well, it's nice to have more back paddles, but honestly, I didn't really use the back paddles that much, and having four of them was kind of over the top, and I didn't really know what to assign them to, and I didn't really use them much anyway, so I'm not really too bothered about the lack of two back paddles. I think it's fine just having the ones that you get. And the operating system on the ROG Ally is obviously Windows 11. You get a full-blown Windows operating system. Just like on your laptop or on your computer, it's exactly the same. It's exactly what you would expect from a Windows device. And Steam Deck is running Linux. A like Linux-based version of the Steam OS is running on the Steam Deck. And it's okay for just like casual browsing and gaming. But if you want to do anything that you can do on a Windows device, obviously some things you can't do on a Linux device and there are some programs that are harder to use on Linux compared to Windows. I just prefer Windows much more like I've got Streamlabs if I want to do a live stream on my ROG Ally I can do that but there's only OBS on Steam OS from the Linux app store and it's just very limited and restrictive only being able to use Linux. Now I know you can side boot Windows onto the Steam Deck but for those of you who are too lazy like me and are not really technically gifted then trying to figure out how to side boot windows onto the steam deck is kind of annoying and i didn't even try to do that for example you can download xbox gaming pass and you can play games that are on xbox gaming pass and you can't really do that on the steam deck unless like i said earlier you side boot windows so to open xbox gaming pass just download it from the internet and then open it and look i got all my games on Xbox Game Pass from my Gaming Pass accounts, all ready to be downloaded and played on my ROG Ally. Now, there's so many games on this and it's only 10 pounds a month. So for only 10 pounds a month, you get access to all these games that you might have to pay if you're gonna play it on Steam. A lot of these games are on Steam. Most of them are on Steam actually. And you gotta pay for them, like 30 pounds, 20 pounds. Well, I don't have to pay for any of them because I'm just paying 10 pounds a month. So I feel like Xbox Gaming Pass has massive value compared to Steam. And the fact that, number one, Microsoft haven't made their own Windows handheld gaming device where they could be like a direct competitor to the Steam Deck is kind of disappointing. And which is why things like the ROG Ally and the upcoming Lenovo Legion handheld are really game changers and blow the Steam Deck out of the water. Why would you want the Steam Deck which focuses only on being able to play games on Steam, when you could get something like this, which can play Steam games, can play Xbox games, can play emulators, I guess, and also other stores like the Epic Game Store, you can download Fortnite, you can download Blizzard games and get Diablo, or even play World of Warcraft on this. I don't know how you're gonna play World of Warcraft on the Steam Deck. You look at all these games, I got Halo Infinite, I got Battlefield 2042, what's that, uh, Crusader Kings, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, and I don't have to pay for these because I'm already a gaming Xbox Gamer Pass member. So just that alone, I think, destroys the Steam Deck in terms of value. Just that you get a Windows operating system and you can treat it like a proper gaming computer, not just, not just something that can only play games off of Steam. You also get this thing called the command center by pressing this button it brings up this display of different buttons and commands that you can choose from and it's really useful so you got the different operating modes you got silent mode and then you got turbo mode which really boosts the performance of the entire thing and then you got desktop mode for the controllers or you can change it to auto or to gamepad mode depending on what you're doing and you got different game profiles you got the on-screen keyboard by pressing this which is 
Well, it's making my camera flicker for some reason. Hold on. <laughs> that was weird. Bringing up the on-screen keyboard made my camera flip out. Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, you got the on-screen real-time monitor, which is really cool. You got this FPS limiter. Hold on. So I want to show you the on-screen real-time monitor. So you can press this to go back to the desktop. And then this will just hover above games. I'll show you. And you get different kind of information, like the usage of the CPU and the GPU. Right now we're using the GPU 0% because we're not playing games. And then it's got the battery, the temperature, 49 degrees Celsius, the FPS when you play games will show the FPS there. So that's really useful that this is baked into the actual ROG Ally and you don't have to download something. When I had the Steam Deck, it didn't have anything like this. You got this button as well, which records the screen and then saves the video. And then if you press this button here, you go into the armory crate and then you can add more buttons to that command center. See, I can add another five buttons and it lets you choose from a whole list of functions and commands that you can easily press like microphone, take a screenshot, airplane mode. That will come up when you press this button and then you can easily choose that option. So it is really good to have this button here and this button there. Didn't really have things like this on the Steam Deck and it really just makes using these quick shortcuts very enjoyable and you can control the machine much more efficiently and quickly than you could with things like the Steam Deck. And last but not least, the gaming performance on this just completely destroys the Steam Deck. I'm going to show you some Rainbow Six gameplay and I'll show you my graphic settings. I'm actually playing this on Ultra. Everything is on Ultra. Look at this. Go on to Options and graphics look custom ultra very high ultra everything is set to the maximum settings see and we're getting a an fps of 115 look at that 120 fps on ultra settings and someone's shooting me I don't know, I think that's my teammate shooting me for being AFK. Whoops, I don't know why they think shooting you is going to help the situation. Obviously, I'm busy doing something. Anyway, I mean, look how good the game looks. This game looks amazingly good and runs really smoothly. And it plays even better when you're using keyboard and mouse when you've got those plugged into the game. But look, I've got 100 FPS right now on ultra settings. I don't think the Steam Deck can do that. Now, I know this is a slightly older game, and um, it's not really that taxing on the performance, but still, it's pretty impressive, and I remember playing this game at Rainbow Six on the Steam Deck, and it wouldn't let me play it at these settings on such good FPS, with such good FPS. Though I've got 120 FPS right now. My team is not doing so well. But I did try Elden Ring, and that's a fairly newer game, came out last year, and I was able to play that on Ultra settings as well. But it's uh, kind of annoying having to open games, it takes, it takes a bit of time to open a game. Like a minute, maybe? So we're not really getting much action here. I think there's someone here. <coughs> oh, excuse me, I'm still sick. I don't know what that beeping was. But yeah, anyway, the gaming performance on the ROG Ally, I feel like it's so much better than the Steam Deck. Ah, oh, stupid drone thing. It's kind of amazing you can play a PC game like Rainbow Six as if it's... oh. I saw someone crouching down there and then that person just appeared in the doorway. Anyway, I don't usually play using the controls like this. I use keyboard and mouse, which is how you're supposed to play the game. But I think you see my point. I can play games on ultra settings, 120 FPS. Amazing. Even my gaming laptop couldn't play at these high settings. And the Steam Deck definitely couldn't. So in conclusion, I think the ROG Ally is better than the Steam Deck in pretty much every single way. Design... Comfort, looks, operating system. Why would you want to play using Linux when you've got Windows 11? Come on. So yeah, I'd give this a 9.2 out of 10. I'd give Steam Deck like 6.2 out of 10.